Starting with you, Aries. That's right. You. You, 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 you. I know. You're like, I am, I am, I am. Everyone else, y'all bite. I'm moving ahead. <laughs> yeah, Aries is definitely like, it's like that take no prisoners kind of sign. It's like, wait a minute, I'm a sweetheart. I'm, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you know, most of you are Vedic Pisces anyhow. We can go into that and I'll, I'll give you your dream trial talk. For <laughs> but seriously, um, you know, Moon and Sagittarius this weekend. And uh, we've got Sun Mercury in Libra. And so you really, you know, you have a lot of unpredictable upsetting situations sometimes have happened to you in the last few years we'll say okay I just it's not normally like this but it is like this um, and right now with Jupiter Mars and Venus all together in your sixth house it's like it's time to hit the gym it's time to get in shape it's time to stop eating sugar stop eating sweets flour products grains all the BS that takes your body down you know, it's time to get healthy, like a tribal caveman, ready to uh, conquer all the things you got to conquer. <laughs> um, learn to be a sweet talker in your relationship. This weekend looks okay for traveling. If you can be patient with a detour, I'd say do it. It could be fun. Get into nature. You know, Sagittarius lives in nature, ninth house. I think we all need to be in nature more because of this whole technological, bizarre world we live in. Less time on the screen, more time looking at a creek, looking at a rock, looking at a tree. Or looking at a beautiful body of your, you know, your naked friend next to you. I don't know. So, just like that. You know. Or not so beautiful, but they're good people. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's... Here we go. 